Hey guys, welcome back to Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Phoenix. We are still in Diagon Alley. We have started to collect Ginny's supplies that she stupidly let slip during her uh, flu trip. So now we have to go find the rest of them, I think. Uh, task list please, where is it? We need to find Ginny's scales and uh, we need to buy ourselves a potion vial, so... Is this, uh, no, that's the ice cream parlor, that's closed, sadly. Alright, well we can get ourselves our, uh, you know, potion thingy. Because we don't want Snape to tell us off. I'm sure he'll come up with reasons of his own. We don't need to give him any. And, uh, yep, typical looking potion place. Look at this. Ugh, what is that? What I, what, ugh. Right, let's see if we can uh, smash anything. <laughs> Aww. Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, books. Books means... What are those? We just got... We just got some beans, but they didn't look like beans. What the hell were they? Let me check my inventory. Uh, maybe they were beans. We've got a quill, we've got a spell tape. That's weird. They certainly didn't look like beans to me, but anyway. Not a problem. Now, are some of these cabinets with locks. Are we going to be able to open those, actually, or not? Or am I, uh... Ooh, nice bit of slowdown. Hello. Excuse me, how much is this potion vial? It costs eight sickles. Eight bloody sickles, lad! Eight sickles for a pissy little glass jar bottle thing. Bloody hell. Alright, we'll buy it. We've got one sickle left, guys. Brilliant. Brilliant! Not really, Harry. I don't think that's worth it. So, you can fill your... Oh, it's the Wigan World vial. Of course. So, we can automatically drink the potion to heal ourselves, even if it is not equipped. Anchor, Beautiful. You're very welcome to fill your potion vial with Wigan World Stamina Potion. The Wigan World's in the large cauldron, over there. Okay. Thanks very much. Oh, so they call health stamina in this game, do they? Does that mean that all these cards are actually just going to increase our health that we've been getting? It is a possibility, I suppose. I don't know. Mmm, doesn't that look just so tasty? Kind of looks like hot Ribena. Or Vimto. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. I have not had Vimto in a, in a, in a cool, I don't know, months? <laughs> it's been a while. I need to get some. Right, so, that is that out of the way. We've only got one sickle to our name, though. That does depress me. Ugh. We need to go to the, uh, magical... Menagerie, or whatever you call it, wherever that is. Oh, at least we've got some music back, though. That's. I keep on going to the ice cream parlor. I think I. I think I have issues. That's the joke shop. That's the Owl Emporium. Where the bloody hell? And that's Flourish and Blots. So we've been there. Oh, is it way, 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 way back this way? It says on the fucking shop. There we go. On the, on the, you know, the front of the shop it says. Right. Oh, this place wasn't too big. It wouldn't have taken me that long to find it, I'm sure. Ginny said her brass scales were in here somewhere. <laughs> I thought he said... Ginny said her bra was in here somewhere. Harry, you dirty man. Right. Let's smash some shit. Where is everyone? Why is there no one at the till? I'm sorry, but we need to find the scales. I'm sorry, we have to do that. Ooh, what is that? It's a giant snail. Can we attack this? No, don't be doing that. I know they're only fictional, magical creatures, but still. They have feelings. How do we get in there? Oh, just like that. He didn't even lock his gate. 
Didn't you hear me, boy? I said it. We're closed now. Go away. We don't know kids today. So you're not actually going to kick us out. You're just going to tell us off and hope that we do actually listen. Ooh, we have a lock okay. and a switch. Should be able to creep past him. Oh, it's a stealth section, guys. Oh no! Wait a minute. You can sneak by pressing Harry up against walls to peek around corners. Oh my! It's bloody MGS too. It, in fact, it's the same. Well, nearly the same controls. Is it? Or is it the same controls? I don't know. Where is he? Where is the- oh shit! Did he hear us? Maybe he did. Let's uh, let's try this then. So we pressed ourselves up against it. Dun dun dun! Dun 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 dun! Dun dun dun! Can we peek out and fire a spell at him? No. Can we not do that? Oh my god we can! Look at that shit! Oh fuck. Sorry dude. Sorry! I know you're here, boy. Push that switch. Push it. Push it. Yeah. Screw you, dude. Well, that was hard, wasn't it? Sneaking. Who needs to... Oh, no! Did he see me? Well, it's too late now. He can't open doors in his own shop, can he? No? Why's the music going apeshit? Is this our tenth card? It is! Booyah! And it does increase our health. Nice! That is actually bloody good. That's, yeah, we're looking out for them then. Ginny's bra scale! Ginny's bra! We got it! What is making that weird noise? What is that? It's creeping me out. I don't enjoy that at all. Is there anything in here hidden? No. Alright, let's uh, face the consequences of our actions. I'm pretty sure he saw us coming in here. I know you're here somewhere. Well, you didn't you see us? Go maybe you didn't. I wonder if the noise of a spell might distract him. Can't we just get seen so he kicks us out? Is, that, is he going to go to the source of the spell, or where it actually is? <laughs> oh god! Oh god, run! Run, Harry! Run, Harry! I mean, it's not shoplifting, because that, you know, wasn't his, but still, it feels like shoplifting. Well, he actually was kind of scary. I, th I think the music made it more so though you know it was quite peaceful and then damn you've been spotted run run for the hills right we've got everything now are we done with Di uh, with Diagon Alley now is that it I'm so glad we don't have to go to Gringotts oh I'm so happy you have no idea screw that place now I don't think the money regenerates does it let's just smash a few of these see if it is Oh my god, are you serious, does it? A silver sickle! A silver sickle! Bloody hell, it does regenerate! A silver sickle! Well, I'll be... I'll be damned. A silver sickle! Bugger me backwards with a broomstick. Well, we'll smash as many of these as we can. You never know when we might need it. Now, last time, the last few barrels didn't have jack shit in them, so... Oh. Okay. Ah, there we go. Alright, I'm guessing none of the rest of them have any. So, let's go uh, reunite Ginny with her bra and other various items. <clears throat> Here we go. Hello there, Harry. I found all your things, Ginny. Oh, Harry, you're so wonderful. Yeah, she likes us. No, really. It was nothing. You're such a kind boy, Harry. You really deserve a famous witches and wizards card. I deserve more than one, but I'll take it. Thank you. 
Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's told me that. Gilderoy Lockhart signing copies of his latest book in oh, God. Lots. We were thinking of going in to see him. Would you like to come with us, Harry? Not really. Oh, uh, well, okay then. Thanks. No, not thanks. No, can't be asked for that guy. He sounds like a bit of a douche. Right, well, let's just check our uh, cards, because I did say I'd check at ten, so let's... Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, we've got our standard book of spells there, of course. Right, so, we found 89. Alberta Toothill. Or is it Toothill? Hmm. Winner of the All England Wizarding Dueling Competition of 1430, famously overcame the favourite Samson Wh Wiblin <laughs> with a blasting curse. Fascinating. 82. Medieval dates are known. Oh, it's Rowena Ravenclaw. Yep, we've had you before. Not in that way. We've had your card before. Uh, Gregory the Smarmy. He looks proper evil. Famous originate originator of Gregory's un, un what? Unctuous unction. Potion to persuade the drinker that the giver is the the very best friend. He does look like he wouldn't be able to make friends normally. Alleged to have wormed his way into King Richard's confidence and thus made his fortune. Bloody hell. And 27. Mirabella Plunkett. Uh, famous for falling in love with a merman in Loch Lomond. I've been to Loch Lomond, guys. I've been there. It's quite nice. In Scotland. Uh, when her parents... Obviously, because it's a loch. I don't know if there are locks anywhere else other than Scotland. Anyway... Uh, forbade her to marry him, she transfigured herself into a haddock and was never seen again. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny to me. Uh, Tilly Toke. Take a toke. Uh, gained Order of Merlin first class for saving the lives of non-magical tourists during the Ilfracum. I've been to Ilfracum as well, fucking hell! I've been to all these places. Incident of 1932, when a dragon swooped down on a beach full of sunbathers. Holy fuck. There'd have to be a lot of memory erasing for that shit. Holy crap. And, okay, yep, yeah, we found Merlin. He's number one, of course. Uh, Elfrida Glag. Chieftainess of Warlock's Council. Another person that just looks wonderful and definitely not evil. Gulliver Pokeby. Expert on magical birds. First to identify meaning of or Okay, whatever. Number eight. Derwent Shimpling. Oh, of course we've seen him. Uh, any more did I see? We got up to 89, didn't we? Oh, 98. Dim Dimfina? Dim Dimfna? Firm Age? Huh, Firm Age. Famously abducted by pixies while on holiday in Cornwall and lived in uh, mortal dread of them thereafter. Failed to persuade the Ministry of Magic to have all pixies humanely destroyed. Sounds, uh, sounds... <laughs> Like a book in itself, I'd read that. Daisy Dodderidge, first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. There you go. That is all of our cards so far. Right. Let's go inside. I don't want to. I really can't be asked with this guy, but fine. Oh, I must admit, playing these games has made me actually want to uh, want to reread the books. All right, where is he? Great Scott! Is that? It is. It's Harry Potter. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important. I see you, Lucius. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term, I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft <laughs> and Wizardry. Oh yay! Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. It's my future wife, as Tommy Wiseau would say. Your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. Here, girl, take this one. Don't take anything from a strange man, Ginny. I wouldn't do that. It's probably bad. Bad it's news. the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. You actually took it, Ginny. Are you insane? 
Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Fame is a fickle friend, and I would encourage you to be careful how you play the fame game, so to speak. Be sparing with your public appearances at first, and watch the company you keep. Harry! Harry, we've missed the train! Missed the what? train? Yes! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? I like Lockhart still talking. I the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. Okay, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Shut up, Lockhart. No one's listening. And can I say, surely that means Draco and Ginny have also missed the train, because they left a second before us. And if the train left five minutes ago, what the fuck was Molly doing? Surely she would. she's in charge of getting us to the platform. What? I'm sorry, I'm calling bullshit. There is no way we've missed that train. And where's Ron been all this time anyway? What's he been up to? He sneak into the ice cream parlor shop. All right, what are we doing now, Ron? Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? Not really, but well, actually, I can't wait to get there. I'm, if I'm honest. Who fixed that flying car anyway? And why did we fly it to the borough? Right, so many questions. I, I mean, I'm very hazy on the events of the book, but still. Pretty sure we crashed that thing into the gate. Oh no! Oh shit. Where'd Ron go? Yeah, we are very dead. Is it the Whomping Willow? Oh no. Don't worry, Ron. I'll come and get you. Just hold on. I can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. So already we've, we've barely arrived at Hogwarts and we're having to save his freaking useless ass. Okay. All right, what's Very good job this tree has a a nice easy route down. Ow! Oh my god. That was a very easy route down getting slapped off the side. <laughs> oh. What a tremendous failure that was. Okay, let's try again. Okay, we we know not to uh, go too far ahead here. Oh, easy now. Easy. Can we just jump over it? Oh, yeah, we can. I was thinking if you could stun the tentacles, but maybe it's just a time thing. Come on, buddy. That's it. And hurry up. Oh, crap. All right, we're on the ground floor. Uh, ooh, ooh! I'm just wondering if there's going to be anything hidden around here. Oh no! That actually did make me kind of crack myself. <laughs> what do we have to do here? Just stun it. Flipendo! Fuck off! What do we, where is Ron? What is he doing? Ooh. Oh, it, shit. Are those, uh, are those puffer pods? Did I just get poisoned? Ooh. Oh. I have no idea. <laughs> I have not a clue. Where is Ron? 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 Oh, my God. Where is Ron? I'm guessing we have to go this way. Oof. Maybe we can... Oh. I thought maybe we could... Yeah, we can target it, but it's not doing anything. They are puffer pods. Well, they didn't poison me in the first game. Puffer pods can be hit with flipendo or picked up and thrown. Be careful, however, as the spores can cause dizziness. Well, I tried to pick one up, but it fucking... Poisoned me. Right, let's try again. Yoink! Right, what do we do? Do we just throw it at the... Oh my god, that didn't work out very well, Harry. 
I may die soon. There is no- oh, fuck off, Puffer Pod! Why'd you grow back so quick? Right. Bloody hit it, Harry! Thank you. Oh, don't run into the frickin' po- oh my god! I'm about to die. I, I feel- <laughs> I feel the cold embrace of death. Fast approaching. Where the hell is Ron, anyway? I mean, I suppose we are lucky that I'm not in Ron's place, because there's no way Ron will get through this. I think I- I don't think I'm going to be able to get through this, actually. He wouldn't stand a chance. Oh, you did it again, Harry, you bunk monkey. How the fuck do you get across there? It's obvious you have to do the shimmying thing. If in doubt, shimmy about, but it's not... It just doesn't actually disappear. See, it's so fast, it just comes back, and I'm very nearly dead. What on earth? Maybe we need to time this just right. Oh, god damn it. It doesn't seem to be affecting that tentacle very much. Hmm. Maybe we just need to... Oh, you bloody missed it, you douche. Ah. Oh. I'm thinking I'm going to try and blow it up just as the tentacle comes and swings down. Alright, ready? Oh, too soon. Oh, we're, we're, oh, the potion healed us. Oh, yes, I've completely forgot. It's like a fairy in Zelda. Harry, seriously, if you would love to target that thing, I would, I would be most grateful. I really would. Will you fuck off? Let me just, let me go. Oh my, what? I'm dead. Wow. I must be doing something wrong. <laughs> oh no. Oh dear. Oh, we're back here as well. Bloody beautiful. Just let, it, let it do its thing. Oh, easy. Okay. In fact, can we not just like... Oh, we can't climb up there. No, of course not. Alright, be ready for uh... Ta -da! Target the bastard! Th Thank you! Oh, he's disappeared now anyway. There he is. You twat! You tit! Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you! About fucking time! Right, can we actually throw them at the tentacles here, will they? Will they stop this? You douchebaggery. Get over there. Oh, you old bloody... You didn't throw that very fucking far, did you, Harry? Hey? Because for some reason we couldn't climb over the route while holding a puffer pod. Because that's just... That's just great. Right. Well, that got rid of that thing. I guess you can't kill the big ones. Okay. Ah. Well, let's go die again. You bugger! Oh my god! It wasn't even swinging. Ooh, that was a bit close. Right. How do we fucking do this, guys? Puffer pods can be hit with Lavendo. Yes, I know. But how do I stop it from growing so quickly? Like, it grows very quickly. And sometimes Harry don't want to fucking hit it. So we can't even target the bastard. Right. Okay, oh, oh, see, you try and run quickly and nothing. It's getting on my tits, you know. It's getting on my bloody tits. Like, that is obviously the way we need to go. Oh, 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 Harry, shimmy, shimmy, no! God damn it! I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. This is not that difficult, surely. I'm missing a key part of the puzzle, as usual. Like, unless... Can we go? No. No. I keep on trying to find a shortcut. It's not, it's not there. It really is not. Right, fuck you guys. Fuck you. Fuck you. Unless I have to kill all the bloody things that are going to pop up. I wonder. Let's try it. Oh, you please just pick the fucking things without getting fucking hurt. Puffer pods suck ass. Oh my god, Harry. I thought they were only supposed to make you dizzy. Oh, hang on. There's a bloody chest over here I didn't even see. Please help me. Oh, okay. Well, health is actually useful. 
I suppose. Pick up the fucking thing. Oh, of course, yeah, you can't. Oh, it just grows back. Okay, so that isn't that isn't the way to do it. I will get to the root of this problem, guys. I will, I promise. Will you get the fuck up the root? Oh my god. I don't remember this being in the game. Well, I don't remember this at all, but surely, if this was that difficult when I was a kid, I would have remembered it more. Why is this giving me all the trouble in the world? Yeah, I know. You're not really giving me a hint, though. I know I can destroy them. But how do I get over the thing? What if I do this? Right? I can't go past it, see? I have to destroy it. But I get hurt as soon as I try to run near it, and then I get hit. And then I fall. Get up there, get up there, quick, 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 Harry, quick, Harry, quick! No, no, go, go, no, Harry! Harry, you fucking muppet! Come on. Will you freaking just... Oh my god, shimmy! Get up there a bit fucking quick! Oh my Christ! You're bloody useless, Harry. Don't you remember Incendio? Can you not burn this fucking tree down? You must have to stun those things with the buffer pods so you can actually shimmy past, but I don't bloody know why it's not working. I'm trying to bloody best here, guys, and it ain't, it ain't good enough, is it? Right, okay. Speedrun time, speedrun. Screw you guys. Get over there, Harry. I don't know why he takes so long to jump over the roots. Right, get over there, thank you. Right. So my thinking is... Oh my god, Harry, please stop taking damage. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna try and pick it up. Pick it up! Right, so it doesn't grow back until I pick... Until I throw it, I guess. So, we're gonna throw this at the tentacle when he makes himself... Oh, good shot, Harry. Good fucking shot there, me old chum. That was brilliant. That was really well done. That was just fantastic. Right, we're gonna wait for it. You bloody idiot. Get up there. This is the worst thing ever! Right. Can we? We can't shimmy without. Right. Oh, fuck off. Harry. Harry. You were dead! Oh my... Fuck! Right, okay. So, I don't know what's happening here, guys. I've I've looked up a video of someone doing this part because I was I, I must be missing something. But I don't think I am. I... I saw a footage of someone doing this, and that puffer pod on the ledge does not grow back fucking instantly on the video I watched. So I don't know what's going on. Okay? And Harry jumps over these freaking roots a lot bloody better than he does here. I I mean, it's the PS2 version. Like, the shittest version of the game. I don't know. I just don't remember struggling this much. So we're going to try and, uh... We're going to try something a little... Oh, fucking camera. Seriously. We're going to try something here. We're going to pick up the puffer pod. No, pick up the puffer pod. Pick it up! Urgh! I'm gonna stand where it grows, I'm gonna throw it away, and then, look, it doesn't grow back instantly. You have to be stood exactly where it- oh, okay, okay. You fucker! Right, move. Will you- my god in heaven! It's happening again! Right, stand back, stand back, let's just wait here for it. How did that- oh, the puffer pod keeps hurting us. Right, fuck off, tentacle. Fuck off. Fuck off, thank you. Please, can we get over here now? My god in heaven, that is one. Harry, what are you fucking doing? Fuck this game! Screw it! What? <laughs> it was so good up until this point! Why am I struggling so much? Right, let's pick it up. Pick it up! Fucking Christ in heaven. I think we're gonna die again, guys. I'm just, just saying. Just saying. Oh, it didn't go back that instantly. That, what? What? I don't understand. Go, 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 go! I'm gonna move on. And don't jump off this time. Please, 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 step away. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, fuck. Don't die now. Don't die now. I need a chocolate frog or something, please. Apparently, if you hit the glowing mushrooms, you can get beans, but it's not fucking working. I swear to God, the targeting in this version of the game seems to work differently from what I just saw online, because you could definitely target the puffer pods on the video I saw. See, they grow back fucking instantly, I'm dead! Oh my God! What the fuck? This bit sucks, dicks. Big sweaty donkey dicks. Now I'm mad. Now I rage. We're gonna do it this time. We get over the fucking route. Wait, do we still need to uh, get that chest? What was the chest again? I only had the chocolate frog in it, so I don't actually need the health right now. I bloody will do though at some point. Yeah, fuck it, we'll leave it. Right. 
Yeah, I swear those glowing mushrooms could be hit for beans. But that is apparently not the case. Run! Yes, alright, you've just cancelled me fucking spell with that hint. Cheers. Thanks a bunch. Oh, toss pots. How fast do they grow back, guys? That's, that's ridiculous. Get up there, Harry! Get a move on, get a move on, get a move on, get a move on. Fucking shift! Oof. Oof. This is give me a heart attack, this game. I swear to God. Let's just run. Fuck you guys. Oh. Right. Right, we're gonna pick it up this time. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna pick it up. And then we're gonna throw it in that general direction. Okay. Right. Now. Are we supposed to climb up this bit? I don't know. Oh, there's another chest down there. Or is that where we came from? Oh no, no, hang on. Hang on. Hang on a goddamn minute, guys. This must be a whole new section of the floor. Yeah. Right, what's in this chest? Please be some health. Yep, that's good. That's alright, I need that. You can target the chocolate frogs at least, but everything else, it seems to be really... Wonky. Oh god, what do we do with this? We just hit it. Yes, we do. Right, crawl through the small hole in the wall. Oh, I hope Ron appreciates the uh, the significant effort we've gone through just to find him. We've not even saved him yet. I get. Well, we've not even found him yet, actually. Where is he? There are many objects in the world. Yes, apparently there is, but you can't fucking target them, even if you want to. Oh dear. Oh, well, there's imps somewhere. Target opponent on a higher level. Where is it? Oh, I see. Oh, you little sods. They're coming from everywhere. Floating up there for some reason. There's so many. Oh, I'm just smashing the button now. I don't even care where I'm hitting beans. Beans, beans, they're good for your heart. The more you eat, the more you fart. All right, so far this isn't too difficult. The difficult thing is targeting the right one that you actually want to hit. And they keep trying to snot on me. It's not very nice. Right. Are the imps going to fuck off now, please? I'm sick of all the imperfections. Okay. Well, the bar's down. Oh. Did they have a slither of health left? No. Oh, one's trying to throw a fucking puffer pot at me. Oh! Nice, so he appeared once you've got the bar down, I see. Oh dear. Would you believe it? Would you believe it? <laughs> Open the chest, Harry. Not that we actually need a chocolate frog right now. Oh no, it's a card. Sweet. Bum, bum. Alright, so what do I do now? It's a dead end. In it? In it? Is it a dead end? Can I climb back over this? Yes, I can. Aha! Oh! We can call headers! Anyone seen the film Split? With uh, James McAvoy? Yeah, Hedwig. Is a, is a character in that film too. Uh, students are warned that the areas surrounding the Whomping Willow and the Forbidden Forest on which it borders are out of bounds. This is due not in the least to the number of wild guy... guy trashes? Guy trashes? What? That roam the forest. If students should find themselves being approached by these giant dog spirits... What? They are advised that they can be harmed by the light directed from a Lumos spell. Okay. Good job we learnt that then, innit? Otherwise we'd be screwed. Dog spirits. They sound so nice, though. 
Surely dog spirits won't want to hurt me. Ugh. Oh god. Ooh, some nice uh, emulator graphical glitch there. Oh my god. I wouldn't... I mean, yeah. More like Ghost Wolf. Stay back. Hit the fucking vines or whatever that is, Harry. Harry! Why are you so shit, Harry? Why aren't you hitting the thing that will let us crawl out of here? Why aren't you doing it? Is it because it's misty and you can't fucking see it? Be gone! Be gone, wild beasts! No, oh, we do need to just kill them. I've just seen the life bar. <laughs> I thought the, the Lumos spell would- OW! Come on. That's it. Right, now we're getting somewhere. OW! Oh my god, the targeting! You can't even target them! You can't do it! Ooh, two, two for one deal. Fuck off. Booker! Lug her off, that's not a word. Come on, don't run away from me. Don't turn your back on me, Scar. That's it, good lad. Nearly there. Nearly there. That's it. That's it, Ghost Fido. Eat the dust. Bye bye. Right, now we can go. There we go. It's got the thing floating above it. I see. Oh, are we not at Ron yet? How big is this bloody tree? Not more imps. Oh, bloody hell. There's a chest up there. How do you get that? Uh, whoa, you bastards! That was my trick. That's what I was going to try. Oh, we obviously have to get up there. Get up there. Oh, thank God we can actually heal ourselves. Good job we're invincible while we do this. Oh, I almost said puss off. Puff a pod's... Piss off, I meant to say. I'm probably missing a bunch of secrets because there was a chest and I have blatantly just run past it now. I wonder if I can go back. Oh no, probably not. Wait a minute. Very funny, Ron. Now, how on earth am I going to release you? Is there some kind of weak spot on the tree that you've got to spell at? I've no idea. I've no idea what it could be. Not the massive eye behind you. Surely not. Whoa. How'd the car get there? I thought we crashed the car way up high in the tree. Why? Is, uh, I suppose it could have fallen down. I wish I could have fallen down. Would have been a lot bloody easier. Right. And then... And then hit the eye. Okay, that is the pattern. Sorry, Ron. Hang in there. <laughs> Hang in there. Yeah, I've pissed it off now. Tell me about it. Oh, that's health. I see. So what we picked up before was health, not beans. Right. Fuck off. Show, show yourself again. Expose a weak point. Ooh. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh, oh. I'm just staying back here, I ain't, I ain't doing shit. Calm down. In fact, can we just stay back here? Just stare at the camera. It's gonna be pretty safe. Oh, he's gonna swing for- He's gonna throw the fucking car at us! Oh no, he's just gonna slam it on the ground. 
He ain't hitting us from here, so... I'm oh, no, he is. Okay. My bad. Come on. Come on. You toss part. Proper gave us a fist in. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Alright, maybe, yeah, one more hit and we've got him. Can we survive, though? That's the stuff, yeah. Alright, I need that health. I really wish that I could see more of what was going on. <laughs> The health. Don't run into the things, Harry! I really hope I haven't missed a, a wizard's card, but I have a sneaking suspicion I may have done. Oh, we were nowhere near that. And be gone, Whomping Willow. We gave the Whomping Willow a whooping. Sort of. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, it was nothing. Anyway, we better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. Uh, now you've said that, Ron, he's totally going to be down this fucking on, corridor. Harry, let's go. Right, can I go back? Where did we fall from? No, we can't, can we? Unless we can crawl through here. Nope. All right, well, we've missed a chest. Hopefully it wasn't something Hurry up, good. Harry, we're already we finally made it to Hogwarts. After a bunch of bullshit. The only thing I'm not looking forward to this time is seeing Snape. Let's just hope he's left because he missed out on the defense against the Dark Arts job again. Or he might have been sacked. I mean, everyone hates him. Or maybe he's waiting to see oh. why you two didn't arrive on the Hogwarts Express. Professor Snape, we, uh, we were... In my search of the grounds, I noticed that considerable damage seems to have been done to a very valuable Whomping Willow. I will be speaking with Professor McGonagall later. That tree did more damage to us than we... Silence! I would advise you both to make your way immediately to the Gryffindor common room. But Professor Snape, we... Go, and count yourselves lucky. If I should catch either of you out after tonight, I will definitely deduct house points. Was that it? Not expel us? House points, I don't give a shit about, really. Come on, Harry, I'll meet you outside the entrance hall. Oh, let's get to the safety of Gryffindor Tower. Christ. Oh, wow. And as you can see... Hogwarts kind of looks a bit glitchy. <laughs> Still pretty cool, though. Nice big open grounds. I think that's the Herbology area. Oh, what's this over here? What the bloody hell's this? Brilliant. Whose bag is that? Uh, finders keepers? What is it? So we're gonna go to the seventh floor. Uh, we've got our potion vial. Potion vial case. What do we need that for? Maybe it's for someone else that's lost it? I don't know. Right. Let's get back inside the safety of Hogwarts. Well, relative safety. I can't believe how much trouble that last section gave me. That was horrendous. I do apologize. I got very upset. Oh look, it's Hagrid's hut. I wonder if Hagrid's gonna say hello. Hey Hagrid. Oh, Harry, nice to see you back for the new term. But shouldn't you be in the Gryffindor common room? You sound very different. You sound worse in this game. Um, be careful out here, Harry. Guy trashes sometimes roam the grounds at night. Really? Big, horrible dog spirits. You better have your Luma spell handy to scare them off. Yeah, no shit. No shit, Hagrid. Oh, you've locked your hut. Oh, damn it. Yeah, I definitely remember uh, running around out here. But during the daytime. So let's, uh, I don't think there's anything we can do out here right now. We'll be given a chance to explore, I'm sure. 
But uh, let's get inside. There he is. So this is the entrance to the... Well, the entrance hall. <laughs> oh, can we smash that tree? Oh, we can. I need that health, actually. Bloody hell do I need it. Yeah, for some reason we can't target everything that we can hit, which is really annoying. Lumos. That really does not... Oh, here we go. Yeah, what's down this way? I can't wait to explore all this. I really can't. Let's go in, Harry. Yeah. Have we missed dinner? We've probably missed dinner, haven't we? Ah, the staircase. Yep. It's in this game. And it moves. I don't think it moves as elaborately as it does in the films or the books, but... Oh, look how cool this place looks now! It's a bit more impressive. Let's chat to you guys. Oh, and you can see the, uh, the inv individual hourglasses of the house points are actually in the main hall this time, not in the dining... in the dining room. I'm trying to talk to this guy. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. Yeah. Kind of knew that already. Who's this? Hi, Harry. You ought to get along to the common room. You shouldn't be out this late, you know. Are you a prefect? Are you going to tell me off? I want to explore the whole goddamn school. Broom cupboard. Oh, look, a, a broom. Oh. Okay, I can't actually see. There's a broom in this cupboard. Didn't expect that. So, is it a similar layout? So, can't try that. Can't well, get we... in there. Can't get in there. Can't get in that way. Ah, we did miss dinner. Shit. Is this down to the dungeons? What are you doing down here? Get to your common room immediately. All right, see so you, Slytherin bastard. Let's just go then. Let's just go. I, 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 I can take a hint. We'll just check over here first, though. Ooh, ooh, it's Phil. Oh, it's Filch's office. It's got a cat flap and everything. Hello. How do I open this? I must need a spell of some kind. Can't get through there. Alright then, hey you're on. We're going to the seventh floor. The grand staircase. Ooh. Come on, Harry! I'm Hi. go I'm ahead of you, Ron. Shut the fuck up. Are there any portraits you can talk to in this game? Oh, it's nearly headless Nick! Hello, Harry! Why, if it isn't young Potter? How are you? Glad to be back at Hogwarts? Not really. Well, I would be, Nick, if Professor Snape hadn't caught me outside. Well, I suppose that rules are there for a reason, although sometimes the reason escapes me. Yes, you shouldn't be up this late, you know. Better get back to the Gryffindor common room before Professor Snape catches you again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Nick. Is he going to have more bullshit? Let's go to the seventh floor. Mini games for us to do. It's the same voice actor, though, which was nice. He actually sounds the most like John Cleese. Well. Oh, give me those, whatever they are. So. Ah, oh, there is a look around button. What an idiot. Look at this. That is... I, I find that pretty impressive. I mean, there's a lot of portraits. Adds a lot of colour to it. So this is the first floor, Transfiguration. Which we'll be exploring later. 
Charms in the library on the second floor. Defense against the dark arts. History of magic. That'd be quite interesting to me. Non magical studies. Hello. Ancient runes. Okay. And. Oh, the very top. A a arithmancy? Let's go in, Harry. Isn't that supposed to be maths? <laughs> and Gryffindor Tower. Oh, I think we need a kip after uh, the events of today. It's been pretty mental. And we've died about 25,000 uh, 25, times. Oh, this is snazzy. Nice floor. Oh, I actually just wanted to search the thing. Alright, maybe not. No, can't search those bookcases. It's the fat lady! I can't get into the common room, Harry. She wants the password. Oh. Of course I want the password. How am I to know that you two aren't Slytherins disguised as Gryffindors? Because Do you not remember us like from last year? That's how. Hey, Hermione! There you are! Someone said you'd been expelled for crashing a flying car into the Whomping Willow. Well, we haven't been expelled. Look, just tell us the new password, Hermione. Oh, very well then. It's Wattlebird. Well, your voice actor has definitely improved since the last game. Oh shit, you cl- Really? You not stay open for me as well? I'm gonna have to say it. Uh, Wattlebird. How does she not remember us? Okay. Ooh, where do we go? Where do we go? Where do we come from? That way? So we go this way. Camera! God damn it. Hey Harry, Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Ah. Wow, I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Flibberty Gibbet. Flibberty Gibbet. Oh, and uh, watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. Percy. I'll meet Stuck you in up. the common room later. Fuddy duddy, eh? Alright. Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to end it here, actually, because, uh, well, it's been incredibly stressful <laughs> getting killed over and over. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, though. Regardless, I'll try and edit out the, the, uh, the monotony. Uh, next time, we're going to check out the common room. We're going to go pay Fred and George a visit, see what we can get for our beans, and uh, start our school year good and proper. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.